Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft Edge version 139 is now out and was released late yesterday in my region on the 7th of August. And this is now our latest release. Now, to double check, we have the update. We head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. Latest version in bold after the update has been applied is 139.0.3405.86. Now there's quite a lot going on with this latest release of Edge. But first of all, just to have a look at the security fixes that have rolled out. And those would apply to the Chromium open source engine, which the browser is based on. Now in case you missed my previous videos this week, the update includes 12 security fixes for this week. And there are no high severity flaws that have been patched. There are no critical and there are no zero days. So quite a moderate and low key security update for this week. And the 12 security fixes are just patching some mediums and some lows. So that's good news. And then Microsoft has also rolled out two bug fixes. Obviously, they deemed that important enough for this update. And just going to mention these. The first, Microsoft says they fixed an issue where MIP protected PDF files from different sovereign cloud environments failed to open and instead displayed the error message, need permissions, contact the owner of the file to give you permissions. So that's been addressed. And I think that's applying more to enterprise and corporations. And then the second bug fix, they fixed an issue which affected Internet Explorer mode, including errors when displaying PDF files running Java applets and showing the information bar in Internet Explorer mode. So two bug fixes have also been rolled out. And then Microsoft has improved reliability where it's fixed a browser crash that occurred on first launch when the browser sign-in policy was enabled. So any crash fix in my book is an important fix. So the reliability of the browser, according to Microsoft, has been improved with this update to 1.3.9. And then we get a good couple of feature updates. Most of them are applying to corporations and enterprises. And I'm just going to go through a couple which I think will be more applicable to your average home user. And some of these have already started rolling out in previous versions, but obviously are on a controlled rollout. Now, the first is Microsoft says that it's making changes to Wallet in Microsoft Edge where Wallet is being phased out to support a streamlined experience within the browser. Microsoft says this affects the Wallet feature in Settings and the Mini Wallet found by clicking the profile icon in the top banner. Users are directed to the new passwords, payment and personal information management experience in Settings. Now that hasn't rolled out to me and still hasn't made it into my stable version of Microsoft Edge. But if we quickly head over to Edge Canary, which is an early preview version. And I have posted quite a bit of content on this. So just a quick recap. Basically, Wallet has been moved into settings with its own personal page regarding the different options, which I actually think is a lot better than how it currently is in the stable version. And then Microsoft says it's rolling out real-time notifications for compromised passwords, where the browser now proactively informs you if your saved login credentials have been compromised in known data breaches. And I think that's also a nice security step in the right direction, so to speak. And the next feature is also on a controlled rollout. And I think most users have already received this, but Microsoft is still listing it as a new feature where it says it's making Edge settings improvements where Edge settings is migrating to WebUI 2 to boost page responsiveness and introducing a series of minor visual and content upgrades to improve overall usability and utility. And that has been rolling out over the last couple of months, but nonetheless, Microsoft says it's still making improvements to edge settings. And here's another feature that's been rolling out using a phased approach where Microsoft says it's making enhancements to performance and secure boot. So Browser Essentials is now separated into two distinct experiences, as Microsoft likes to call it. Performance and Secure Network, which is the VPN. And I have covered this previously, but Microsoft is still listing this as new features for version 139. 
And then if we head to the main menu, the same applies. We've got performance and we've got secure network. Now those are the official new features according to the change log. And one or two other little tweaks I've also noticed with version 139. If we head back into our settings, the AI innovations is now becoming more widely available. I did notice today that in my stable version, it has finally been enabled with this latest release. So I can now use Copilot mode. And I have posted a whole lot of content on AI mode and Copilot mode when it was still in preview. But just a quick recap, basically if you toggle that on and you click new tab or you open a new tab, it goes straight to Copilot. And something that I have noticed is, although it has been enabled, I don't get Copilot mode in my profile menu like we do in Edge Canary as an example. So obviously some of those features will still need to trickle in. So you just open up a new tab, it goes straight to Copilot mode. And something else it also does is it places Copilot. It places Copilot in the address bar to the left. You can see the icon and you can access Copilot directly from this menu and ask it questions and so on. Something I just want to bring your attention to is if we head back to the setting, I've noticed now that it's enabled in the stable version that you have got a couple of options with this. So obviously Copilot mode, when you turn that on, it places the Copilot in the address bar and also gives you access to Copilot if you open up a new tab page or if you launch your browser with Copilot mode on, it will also go straight into Copilot as a new tab page. So that's all or nothing. That's the all or nothing setting. But I have noticed that if I head into my Start Home and New Tab page and we go right on to the bottom, you can turn off Copilot New Tab page on its own, but you can still then have the Copilot in the address bar. So it's not all or nothing. You've got that option. And I only realized that now just fiddling around before posting with this latest 139 update. So that does give you at least a bit of option, which I'm always in favor of. And then, of course, if you enable that again, it turns on the new tab page. And if we head back to AI innovations, you can turn the whole lot off, everything off by toggling off Copilot mode. And then something else that has been reintroduced is the acrylic for the menus. Where in Edge 138, the previous stable release, Microsoft removed acrylic for the menus and the marker effect. And I posted on that, and just to let you know that it has been reintroduced with 139. Now, not the marker, just the acrylic for the menus. And this is something Microsoft just cannot make its mind up about. It rolls it out, then it pulls it, rolls it out, pulls it. So obviously there are performance issues that Microsoft is concerned about. So if I head to new tab, right click, you can see there's acrylic, that translucent effect. If I head to my main menu, you can see the translucent effect. And if we just quickly head back into our settings, it works a lot better if you are in a light mode. So you can see there the acrylic, you can see the acrylic, but no marker. I've placed a nice bright wallpaper, but no marker. Nothing's changing in the title bar, which picks up the opaque effect of that desktop background. So just the acrylic has returned. So quite a lot going on with version 139, officially and unofficially. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.